All right, so now we're going to head down to the lake and we're going to go into some more separation anxiety with Dallas. Dallas has already gone through the beginning steps like we did in part one and part two of solving the uh, separation anxiety with your horses. And the horse in front of us can uh, take off, at, whoop, the horse in front of us can take off at a trot and uh, she's good with that. She stays out of walk, stays pretty calm, relaxed. So. And the horse in front of us, we've all taught her, also taught her, but the horse in front of us can go out of sight and she's fine. So now we're going to go ahead and separate them for longer periods of time today. We're going to get down here and we're going to cut off. We're going to, the horse in front of us is going to go one direction and we're going to go in the other direction. So we're kind of working on two different things today. One is uh, having Dallas not be so lazy out here and walking at a good speed. And the other one's gonna be separation and uh, going more into the separation part of her training where she doesn't always have to be with her buddies. Oui. Well, I'm gonna go that way for a little bit. You can go that way, then I'll turn her around and start riding up this way. Okay, on this trail. Yeah, on this trail right here by the lake. On this trail right here, the one that goes that way. So 15 minutes and then come back? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll, follow, I'll meet you. I'll meet you. Okay, I'll set my timer for okay. 15 minutes. Okay. So I'm going to let, I'll just guess it in my head. So I'm going to let Shiloh go that way and I'm going to let Dallas Watcher go that way. Okay. And then we're going to go to the right. You know, we just did a video, video yesterday on solving behavior issues. And we peel back the layers, listen to the horse and find the root cause. So while we're talking about this, the root cause of separation anxiety, the fear and anxiety is being left behind. And horses know. <coughs> there she's going to neigh a little bit. And horses. And horses realize that they're safer in a group than they are alone. So if they're in a group, they feel very safe and they're very calm. When left alone, then they feel uh, unsafe and scared and nervous. So we have to work with building our confidence up, being alone with me on her. And now we got to break it down to enough steps that she understands that she can learn in a calm, relaxed manner. And so far, so good. What we did in the beginning was we separate her we separated her uh, only for a few moments at a time in part like I did in part one and part two with uh, Mackie and then we started creating distance and time between the two horses uh, little by little and now we're to the point with Dallas where Dallas can go one way Shiloh can go the other way and Dallas has to realize she's going to be uh, fine without uh, Shiloh uh, being with her this is a preview of part three on separation anxiety. Dallas has been through part one and part two here in part three. Now we totally separate them and Dallas went one way and Shiloh went the other way. To see this full video, join my membership page. Just go to Google, type in Mike Hughes Horsemanship Members page, click on the link and subscribe. There's over 280 videos, horse training videos with step-by-step -step easy to follow methods. And each lesson plan is broke down into steps that your mm -hmm. horse can understand in a calm, relaxed manner. When you do become a member, also join my group page on Facebook where you can post videos of you working with your horse, pictures, and ask questions so I can help you and your horse more. We hope to see you all there. Have a great day and enjoy your horses. Thank you.